All right, today on Free Field Training, we're going to talk about multi-tools for police and security work. But a lot of this is going to play for everyday life, too. Most of my experience with multi-tools is from camping and from working with the scouts. And some of it comes from police work. I've used all of these at different times for police work and for camping and for my everyday carry. And I've kind of narrowed it down to these three that I use for everything. I know I'm one of those weird people that has three different multi-tools that they rotate out depending on what they're doing, but there's some good reasons for them. And because of those good reasons, you might choose something different to use if you're a police officer or a security guard than what I use. So I'm gonna start off with the one that I started off with way back in the day. It's actually not in production anymore, but it is a multi-tool that I started using a long time ago. This is the original style of Leatherman multi-tool. Bring you guys in so you can see a little easier. This particular one is called the Leatherman Side Clip. As you can see, it's got a little clip there on the side and it's rather thin. That's the other side. Leatherman makes a bunch of multi-tools that are just like this nowadays. Most of them aren't this thin, but you can find something that's gonna fit in about the same category. Now the side clip, being the traditional style of multi-tool, is one where you open it up kind of like a butterfly knife and you get pliers and then all of the tools after you open it up are on the inside. So if you want to do anything with this thing, you have to open the tool up and then you can get inside to your knife or your can opener or your screwdrivers or whatever else that are inside. Now, I still use this particular multi-tool because it's very thin and it's light and the pocket clip makes it convenient to use for everyday carry. I can just slide this into a pocket and what I do with it now is I slide it into the top pocket on my jacket and I can carry this around. I can always have a pair of pliers and a nice sharp knife with me and a bottle opener and a can opener and some basic screwdrivers and stuff. So this is my everyday carry multi-tool and the type that I first started off with. Now moving on from there, it became evident with scouting and with camping, and this is the multi-tool that I use for camping the most, that the thing I use most when I'm camping, because I'm gonna carry a multi-tool and a separate pocket knife, is the pliers. Pliers are really useful for camping for picking up hot things off of a fire, like a pot. You can grab the handle of the pot and lift them up with the pliers, the multi-tool and all of the stuff that's inside is kind of secondary to that and when you're opening up the stuff from inside it's because you're fixing something you normally have both hands to do it with whereas with the pliers if I've got a tent and I'm trying to untie a knot and I'm holding the tent up and trying to untie the knot and I need the pliers to get the rope untied or if I'm trying to cook and I've got a spoon in one hand and I'm trying to lift the pot up while I'm stirring to move it somewhere else on the fire or I'm trying to do more than one thing at once being able to open the pliers up with one hand is really important and being able to get the pliers out and use them and put them away is important. So with this multi-tool, this is a Gerber 600 series multi-tool and it comes with a little pouch. So you put the pouch on your belt and you slide it in. You imagine if pliers were the important need that you had at work, you could slide this onto most duty belts. It comes with a pretty big area in the back of webbing and you can rip this stitch down here and make an even larger area where you can slide this on any type of belt. So you take the plier off of your, out, of your pou out of your pouch and snap your wrist and the pliers open. And then when you do something and then when the pliers close, you just push these little buttons in on both sides of the pliers. It's in here and here. You push them simultaneously and the pliers close up and you can put them back in your pouch. So it's good for one-handed opening and closing of the pliers. Now for police work, I found that the least useful thing is the pliers. And if I need pliers, I'm normally gonna have time in both hands because I'm fixing something around the car or fiddling with something downstairs in the basement. I have plenty of time to get the pliers out so I don't need the pliers in a hurry. And with these, you still have to go in, you have to open the pliers up and then open them up in order to get all the components out of the inside. So you've got like files and scissors and stuff like that and a nice sharp knife that you can keep sharp. And then this one, the reason I have this particular multi-tool is because it has a little area where you can put a saw 
or like I have a little rem grit blade on there. And I really like this when I was working building maintenance at a scout camp. This came in really handy because you could cut PVC pipe and stuff with this without having to go back to the shop and get a pipe cutter. For police work though, what I need most is the tools on the outside of a multi-tool. I carry a pocket knife when I'm on duty. I'm still carrying the Lake City Thunderbolt from CRK2, the Thunderbolt 2. But if I need any other tool, any other of the major tools, I want to be able to get to them with the, with the multi-tool clothes. Because I keep this multi-tool, this is a Leatherman Wave. I keep this in the top right breast pocket of my vest carrier when I'm at work. So the reason I use this is I've got all the time in the world to get the pliers open, so it being a traditional opening multi-tool multi doesn't bother me, but all of the big tools that I might need to hurry are on the outside. So I've got, on the outside here, I've got a sheep's foot blade with a serrated edge on it to use as a rescue cutter if I have to, and there's some jimping on the back of this blade so that from the outside I can feel the difference between this one, which is my sharp straight edge blade right there that I can use for little tiny tasks. And then on this side, I have a sheep's foot blade right there and I can tell from the jimping. All the blades lock on the outside so it works just like a lock back pocket knife with all these. And it's got not only the standard blade and the sheep's foot blade, but it also has a little saw, which I really haven't found a whole lot of use for with police work, but it has a file which can be very helpful for things around the car. And this actually works pretty well for jimmying doors. I can get this inside the door of an apartment building and pop the lock open without having to break anything when I need to get inside an apartment building. And no one will wake up at 3 a.m. And then on the inside, it has all of the little maintenance stuff that you'd expect from a multi-tool. This one's got a Phillips head bit that is switch-aroundable. You see right there, it's got a Phillips and a flathead bit on there so I can get the flathead bit if I want to or a Phillips head bit. I normally usually leave it at Phillips head because this one's got another flathead. And it's got a can opener which I don't use so much at police work but for camping and stuff it's nice. And then on the other side it's got scissors which are really great for really fine work and also trimming my nails which realistically is the use that I use it for for police work. Sit in the car on midnights and trim my nails. And then it has a little tiny, really tiny show you that screwdriver there that allows you to take care of glasses this one flips around so there's a Phillips head on one side I don't know if you can even see that and then a flat head on the other side so if somebody's glasses get messed up at work or they get loose you can flip it around and you can fix help them fix their glasses which is really helpful for people especially in the middle you know the middle of the night it's hard to get help with anything and then there's a bigger flathead screwdriver that's another one that's good for getting in apartment buildings at two three o'clock in the morning when no one wants to answer the door so those are kind of the considerations for multi-tools camping pliers out in a hurry police work the exterior blades out in a hurry and then for everyday carry, light and tight. I've thought about going to Leatherman Waves for everything. My problem is that this is about a $90 multi-tool, this is an $89 multi-tool, and these, you can find something equivalent to this for 30 or 40 bucks. So I really don't wanna invest the money into switching them all out, but I like this one so much that when my original Leatherman Wave started getting a little long in the tooth, and the blades start to get to the point where I couldn't fix them anymore because I had used them so much, I went and bought another one. That's how much I like that one for police where you can kind of see what's left of my sheep's foot blade on my old one. So if you wonder how well do these wear, how much time you can get out of them, I get about six, seven years out of one of these with pretty heavy use. And I'm sure people are gonna say, oh, well, Leatherman will honor their warranty and there's what, Here's what the screwdriver looks like a few years of use on it. I'm sure Leatherman would honor their warranty and they'd get me a new one and yada, 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 or not a new one, but they'd fix the blades and yada, yada, yada. I'd rather just have a new product. And now I can keep this with like the stuff I use for security work. So I think I'm gonna throw this in the vest that I use for security work. So that's multi-tools 
for police and security work, just kind of a little primer on it, some things to think about. I know a thousand companies make multi-tools and they all have their different pluses and minuses. And to someone who has never used one before, it could be difficult to pick one. Lots of guys get into police work and they say, oh, I'm gonna get a multi-tool and they just go pick whatever their friends tell them is good. I know now there's another metric to this and I'm not totally up on it. One friend of mine has a Leatherman uh, that has an out the front, I think it's called the OHT. It's an out the front opener like the Gerber, but the blades are on the outside like the Leatherman Wave and Leatherman Surge series. I have played with it a little bit and it does seem to solve all of those problems in one, except that the blades are a little smaller and so is the multi-tool. There's always something that you give up when you get those types of compromises. But these are the things to think about and hopefully that helps somebody that's uh, new to police or security work or just new to multi-tools out with deciding which one is right for them. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters and especially the shift supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better. Thank you.